Uh, state governments across the country are passing laws mandating drug tests for recipients of federal aid. What about corporate welfare recipients? In a Huffington Post op-ed, Stephen Strauss of the Harvard Kennedy School of Government argues that bank CEOs who receive federal aid should also be subject to drug testing. He joins us this morning from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Stephen, welcome. Good to have you on the show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I, 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 reading your op-ed, I, I can't tell if you're serious or not, if this is a, a real <laughs> tactical argument or a political argument. Which is it? Uh, I think it's a real argument. Um, I'm not, in, starting at a somewhat higher level, I'm not really in favor of drug testing people who have legitimate access to a federal government program, whether that's unemployment insurance or FDIC insurance. But I actually don't see the argument as to why you would decide to drug test people who are getting unemployment insurance, but you're not going to drug test people who are receiving federal aid under other programs. I, that was really my main point. Yeah. I just don't even, see why you would want to separate them. And you even begin uh, your piece with uh, the, the suggestion from then candidate, presidential candidate Mitt Romney, that people that we do test for those who are receiving financial aid at a low level. Um, and you make the point, well, why wouldn't you uh, test those who are receiving federal aid from a high level? And you, and you cite Jimmy Kane uh, from Bear Stearns, mm -hmm. who, of course, uh, well-documented uh, use of marijuana. Is, is that your poster child? Um, I wouldn't say poster child. I would just say an example. I mean, statistically, according to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, about 10 percent of adult Americans will make use of some illegal drug in the course of a given year. If you're looking at kind of the 55 to 65 year old group, it drops to around 3 percent. I actually don't think bank CEOs are more criminal than anyone else. I honestly, you know, this wasn't to imply that, you know, they're particularly evil people, but I also don't think they're particularly more saintly than anyone else. Uh, I'm going to read a piece from, uh, from your, uh, your op-ed. The actions of the financial services industry can be explained by some combination of bad luck, innocent incompetence, criminal intent, or significant drug use. Unless we ask our bank CEOs and other senior executives, I'll paraphrase here, uh, to get tested, how will we know whether they, quote, <laughs> deserve taxpayer assistance? It occurs to me that, I mean, look, I work for a big corporation. There are HR policies. There is drug testing uh, as a general practice in corporate America, it's a good chance a lot of these CEOs are already tested. Um, there was a Wall St that is certainly possible. There was a Wall Street Journal article in 2010 which actually said no, the banks do not do random drug testing on their senior, sta senior management. That was the only reference I could find on that. Yeah. Any response from the White House or Congress? Or does, is anyone taking this as a legitimate policy proposal? Uh, the Interesting question. The op-ed went out last night. Uh, you check back with me in a few days, I may have an answer for you. Yeah. Uh, in general, I, it sounds like it's more of a response to the suggestion of testing those at the low end. It's not, I mean, forgive me if I'm trying to read into some of this, but it doesn't seem like you're antagonistic to big business or big banks in general, even though you might well be upset about the crisis and what led us there a few years ago. Correct. Uh, it was really more an argument of equity that we're all Americans, we're all citizens, we're all equal. I just can't see the argument why you would test the unemployed, but not re test people who are receiving corporate aid. Uh, it's worth a read. I'm sure it'll infuriate a lot of other people and, uh, <laughs> and probably encourage uh, some others. Uh, on the Huffington Post, Stephen, uh, thanks for coming on and fleshing it out a bit. Th thank you for having me. Much appreciated. Uh, Stephen Strauss, Harvard's Kennedy School of Government.